It's a map for you see it's in fertilization. Must we cross here, we cross. Must we cross here, we cross. You can remember 85, this song, let all the teach you. Uti, Uti, Lupita. Please, let's make good friends here out in Norway. We are told. Then after that, must we cross that? Maximum organisms, they are heterozygous for both characteristic. The state of being heterozygous, it has a dominant phenotype. Why? Because the dominant allele determines the phenotype of an organism or the phenotype of an individual. So obvious, if they are heterozygous for both characteristics, it means they have dominant phenotypes. Therefore, they are green and round. That's why here yeah, they are green and round, green and round. Now, this is your they are heterozygous for both characteristics. The word hetero it means different. The word zygous means expressed. So they are differently expressed for different characteristics. <laughs> but it becomes a different story now. Masters law of what? Of segregation. It is. An organism possesses two factors, now known as what? Ama alleles. These two factors, they separate or segregate so that each gamete being formed possesses at least one of these factors, which means Ama gametes are four as of from Ishega. Each of them needs to have a factor of what? Of the color and a factor of any shape. Color, shape. Color, shape. Color, shape. One to two factors, think of a name. Yes, or right. What's the size? Which is the kind of shape, the kind of shape, the kind of shape. This is one of my factors that dominate in our obsessive view. In our common sense, keep our in, says keep our market. We need to cross between any and my characteristics that are fine. Yes, or not? Low, who kind of looks closer than the shape, who stinks at this comment. Kind of looks closer than the shape, who stinks at this comment. Kind of looks closer than the shape, who stinks at this comment. Kind of looks closer than the shape.